Now life can move pretty fast sometimes. Occasionally it's a good idea just to slow down and take it easy. On this particular day, I just wanted to get out on the water. Just nice and simple. No big aspirations to catch giant fish or anything. Just to simply get out there. Maybe get away from some of the traffic noises and the hustle and bustle of life. It's easy to do when you get out on the water to just leave it all behind. On the water you only have to worry about the birds. Simple things like wind and current. The only traffic out here might be the occasional crab fishermen. And even they were a welcome sight after being off the water for so long. Look at that, there's dust on my reel. <laughs> There's dust on the rod. Look at that. It's been far too long since I've been fishing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a piece of live shrimp out there. A simple little one-knot circle hook. That's about the best there is, I think. There we go. I'll put a float on the line. The water is about 12 inches deep, so about 10 inches up I'll put a float just to keep this guy from snagging on the bottom. I knew those mullet were out there before I saw them jumping. This fish is so big that they leave little telltale signs on the surface. You know, whether it's a shadow or a little ripple, you know, what I call nervous water. Sometimes you can see birds circling above them. Those are always the places that I like to fish. Because occasionally redfish hang out in these mullet schools. When you're in a kayak, you have to choose your spots carefully. You can't just motor around real fast from place to place. That's fine. I've never seen somebody catch a fish while they were doing 40 miles an hour anyways. I've been on those boats when it looks like you're looking at a sheet of plexiglass and underneath the fish are scattering everywhere. If you just creep along, Stand a chance of catching one of those fish. It's amazing how much more you can see when you're just going slow and you're being quiet. Behind me I was trailing a piece of what I think is the best bait that you can use out here on the flats. Live shrimp. It's a pretty surefire way to get a bite on a slow day. Lots of fish like to eat shrimp. I love fishing the flats, I tell you what. <laughs> well, woo! Unfortunately, I don't think that's a fish I can eat, but it sure makes for a lot of fun. Hey, 
Jack. circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. That's why I love them circle hooks. Notice they scribe these marks into the side of the boat here. He is 19, 20, 21, 22 inches. Maybe a little bit bigger. Nice jack. Beautiful fish. Alright guy. Go back and make little jacks. That feeling is hard to beat. Let's do it again. around here. I don't want to spook anything by traveling around. So I think I'm going to anchor up and I'll see if the fish will come to me. I told you that I was going to keep it simple. <laughs> Here's my anchor. It's an old five pound weight with a string. <laughs> I've got my anchor trolley that I set up just the other day. See here? Put the anchor line through here. I don't know if that's what this was designed for, this little lip, but that's what I'm using it for. All right, let's find a place to anchor up. Look at all those mullet out there. <laughs> I haven't used this thing in a long time. what I'm going to do here is put that line right through there. Tie a simple knot. That's it. Hopefully the tide's going that way. Looks like it is, considering where I am compared to the anchor. Hopefully there's a fish out there waiting for a nice shrimp. <laughs> it's 
circle hooks come out real easy, don't they? Get them right in the corner of the mouth. How's that for a pretty fish? Barely legal, but I'm gonna throw him back. I'm sure he's got a bigger brother out there. You know, I've experienced the big boats and all the trials and tribulations that come with them. And I've done simple fishing from a simple kayak. Ooh. And this just can't be beat. For pure joy. You don't need anything fancy. I don't even mean like a big expensive kayak. You know, I got one. You've seen it in my videos. So. I can say truthfully that you don't need an expensive kayak. And I'm not saying it because of my association with Pelican or anything. Actually, it really just makes sense why I'm with Pelican now because it's what I believe in. I believe you don't need to have something real fancy to enjoy a day on the water and fishing. A beautiful thing, huh? That might be the same fish. Not <laughs> oh, pretty. He's got a little tick on his tail. See it? Oh, off it goes. No charge for the cleaning, huh, fella? I want my circle hook back. For anybody out there who is saving their money and letting a lot of time go by, you know, waiting for that perfect kayak, I don't think you should do it. I think you should give up the kayak of your dreams for what you really need. You know, what you need is just something to get out on the water. Today's a good example of that. I've never fished from a a sit inside before. It's not so bad. It's a lot more stable than I thought. I guess because you sit lower. But as far as simple kayaks go, this is about as simple as they get. Same with fishing. A little bobber, a one knot circle hook, $30 combo that I got from Walmart. <laughs> Five pound plate for an anchor. You don't need much, folks. Definitely won't catch fish if you don't go out and do it, though. I'm creating my own stories. Glad you guys are along to join me. Where's that slot red fish? You know, when I came up here to uh, 
fished the opening of this creek, I noticed a couple of things. Number one, this kayak floats in like, I don't know, two or three inches of water. That's pretty crazy. I guess because it's so lightweight. I figured I was gonna run aground and it took a long time before I actually touched the sand. That's pretty neat. Something to be said about a light kayak. And I wanted to show you guys the <laughs> nice little uh, compartment I have here for uh, beverages. That's very nice. Thank you, Pelican. Well, aside from a bunch of uh, cool storage places, Pelican also has these cool paddles. You see how the water drips off and doesn't really get in your lap. The paddles also have a whistle. <laughs> it also had a measuring device, but I don't like to slime it up with fish. Cool to have, though. And the kayak was also surprisingly stable. Look at me standing up on a 10-foot kayak. That was very surprising. It also tracked pretty good. I was overall very surprised by this kayak. It being so lightweight, I think I'm going to take it out a lot more in the future. And hopefully I'll be able to catch some nice fish in the future too. Today I just got little dinks, and aside from the ones that I caught, the rest were just stealing my bait. Oh, no more shrimp. You know what? I guess this is about the end for today. I really appreciate you guys coming along with me. I'm a very happy guy to be back on a kayak. And uh, I'm a little bit surprised at this short sit-in side kayak, how stable it was. And However, I'm not at all surprised that I had a lot of fun. Just goes to show you don't need a kayak worth thousands of dollars where you don't have to go to some exotic places like uh, offshore or something to have a great time fishing. So. For anybody out there who hasn't gotten a kayak yet, there's no excuses. But just go get something, go out there, and have a good time. See you next time. Now go get a kayak and make it your own. Bite my foot. Oh my god, look what you did to my lens.